What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, as I was doing the video yesterday on the Peltier cascading concept, um, I had the thought of would this be better than using a 10 amp Peltier module or, or less effective? Um, I suspect that it's less effective than just going ahead and using a 10 amp Peltier module. Um, instead of two 5 amps, we'll just use one 10 amp. So, but you never know until you test it. So, what I'm going to do while I've got this still connected, um, this is the same exact setup that we used yesterday. Uh, it is two 5 amp Peltiers sandwiched hot, hot side to cold side, connected to a passive um, heat sink. There's a, 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 a fan on this side that cools the heat sink down. I've got a roll of duct tape underneath it just to create, to sep keep it away from the bottom of the uh, desk here. Um, and anyway, and then we've got it connected to our computer power supply, which provides uh, up to 20 amps of power. But as we saw yesterday, it only is going to use 11 amps. So I will use the ther uh, infrared thermometer to test um, this after it stabilizes uh, and see how cold it gets or actually I'll just test it as we go and make and see what's the absolute coldest reading that I that I get and we'll use that number and then we'll do the same for the 10 amp unit I'll clean this off uh, put new thermal grease on and connect it to the uh, to the power supply and run the same exact test on the 10 amp unit and then we'll see which one is more effective which one's more efficient I will use the clamp um, meter to test the, the current just to make sure that we've got a similar amount of current. Um, I don't want there to be any uh, extra variables in the equation here so we'll make sure that we're we're testing apples and apples to apples and uh, so let's get started with the first test. Okay I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power supply and immediately start taking readings. Like I said the coldest reading will be the reading that we use so I'll just go until it stabilizes or starts creeping back up. So here we go. Okay, 33 is going to be it, and 9.5 and amps is the current draw. So let's cl get this cleaned up and switch to the 10 amp unit. Okay, so now we got the 10 amp unit set up. So let's go ahead and uh, Get ready to fire this thing up and take the same measurement. So here we go. Let's just call it good at four. So go ahead and shut it down. We're only using seven amps of power. So that's pretty conclusive. Okay, so I thought about this for a few minutes. Uh, I had to take a phone call, but uh, I think that there may be a little too much uh, thermal compound between the two Peltiers on the cascading to maybe, I don't know, it's just my only theory that I can think of at this point why the, the cascaded Peltiers are so much worse than, than the, uh, the single unit. I mean the single unit was drawing less power and it was just getting so much colder than the, the two units together. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to redo the, the first test real quick. I'm going to take off some of that paste so that they're not quite as um, goopy a little bit and, uh, and run it again and see if we can improve things a little bit. Okay, we've got everything set up to do this uh, cascading test one more time. I've cleaned off the top a little bit so that there's not, nothing in, on there that's going to interfere with taking a temperature reading. Um, I've, cleaned, I've removed some of the thermal grease uh, from inside the the cascaded set up a little bit so that it doesn't move around as much. Now I don't think that's going to make a huge difference but I don't want it to like be free floating and move around and and not have a good seated connection to the to the heat sink. Um, so and then we've got everything hooked up to the power supply so let's go ahead and run this test one last time see if we can improve our results at all. just not going to go any lower than 36 so and we're still at nine and a half amps so I think this is pretty conclusive um, again this is not the perfect test there are uh, 
certainly some things that we could improve upon a little bit, but not enough to affect the results of the test. We're not going to find an extra 20 something degrees Fahrenheit uh, of difference. Uh, and the fact that this is using two and a half more amps or so than the single module by itself um, is, is further proof that the, just cascading is not as good as using a, you know, double power Peltier module. Um, so anyway, that was kind of what I expected to have happen. Um, I really was hoping that it would be closer because um, I think there's still some, some reasons you might want to use two of them because I think you could modulate them individually and do some, some cool things to give you some extra flexibility over a one module setup, but it's just not worth doing with that much of a efficiency gap and that much of a performance gap. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Thank you to my viewers and subscribers for your support. If you liked what you've watched, please consider donating to my Patreon campaign at www.patreon.com slash LDS Reliance. All donations will be used to help create bigger, better videos for your viewing pleasure.